Yo, this is a strong lesson in critical thinking that my man posted right here. What's hilarious to me is they talking about the Hebrew Israelites, always talking about Edomites, like the same so-called Edomites didn't create the Bible and have control over it for 1,200 years. All right, so if you can think about what he's saying, critically think about this, get the facts, get the understanding, and then have the wisdom of it. That's critical thinking. That's called the um, trivium. So in the tri so by utilizing the trivium of critical thinking, what are the facts? The facts are that according to the Bible um, that you use, Esau, who was hated by God, God loved Jacob and hated Esau, Esau is the father of the Edomites. The Edomites are supposed to become the white people. The white people are the ones that the Hebrew Israelite, the black Hebrew Israelite, hate, can't stand, says that they are the devil and all these other things. Yet, yet, if the Edomites are the, if Esau, is the progenitor of the Edomites and the Edomites are the progenitors of the Europeans then all the writings of the Bible coming under the control of Rome at the latest 325 AD but we know that they were under the control of Rome during the time of Jesus during the time of uh, when did they come in there I think they came in around 70 BCE somewhere around in there but even prior to that they were controlled by the Greeks so you have Hundreds of years that they were controlled by the Greeks and then the Romans and then the Romans continue for a thousand years, thousand plus years, then which became the European countries. They were in control. King James, you know, um, um, Tinsdale, Geneva, the Geneva Bible, all these Bibles, the Vulgate, the Steptuagint, all these things that you are basing your religion on, basing your belief on, were controlled by the very people that you say is wrong. Now you're going to tell me. That we that you can see inside, you got the true stuff, and then you're gonna talk about the Ethiopian Bible and that sort of thing. But you don't read from the Ethiopian Bible. You don't read from that. But even that Ethiopian Bible is has writings that were that are still the same as that which which was controlled by the Roman government, by the Roman government, and then by the papacy, and then the King James that you read is not the authorized King James. So you're not reading the one that he wrote. You're reading the one that the Jesuits wrote. That one is called the King James Bible, which Pretty much every other American New Standard and NIVs are translated from that. So you're still reading from what the papacy have said is the Bible for the Protestants to be able to read or anyone who derive, derive themselves from the Protestants. So, as my man said right here, the Edomites are giving you what you are calling the Word of God, and yet you believe that those were the evil people. That is not critical thinking. That makes no sense. Use your mind, brothers. I know you downtrodden, but use your mind.